In this video, we're going to show you different kinds of styles of widgets on different kinds of pages. This will give you a good idea on how to set it up on your own website, as well as give you some good solid use cases. So the first one that I want to show you is an embed of a web chat widget. So that looks a little bit like this. We have just some uh, text copy and right in the middle of a page or anywhere you want to, you can basically embed your text widget and you can just interact with it however you want to. As you can see, you can just type a message and then if you press enter, the widget will continue. The way this is set up is if we go inside the page itself, we have the main script inside the header of the page and then exactly at the point where we want to let the web chat widget show up as an embed, we basically have a class that we are going to embed. And as you can see, my custom ID in this case is this custom ID. And I will also pop it up on screen so you can take a closer look. But basically it is the custom ID of embed underscore chatbot and then underscore container underscore ID. And this is the ID that you need to give on any element that you want to let your embed show up, right? And then it will result in something like this. So for example, if I want to change the direction of this embed, it is really, really easy. I just remove it from this one. If I want to display it on this column, this column inside of this row instead, I just give this column this custom ID. If we save this and refresh, we should now see the widget show up on the left hand side. So let's take a look if we are going to refresh the page. Now we should see the widget on the left hand side. As you can see, because the container width is a little bit smaller, you will also see that reflecting inside the widget itself. So this way you have a fantastic way of embedding the chatbot web chat widget anywhere on the page that you like to. So the next example that I want to show you is a pop-up model. And this is a fantastic way of grabbing the user's attention and really focus on the conversation between you, the business, and the visitor on your website. The way it works is you can basically have any kind of element inside your website to be triggered as a pop-up model. For this example, I enabled it on this button. So if I just press this, you will get a nice pop-up model with the chat conversation in the center of the screen. But basically how it works, if we go inside the page itself, you will see that this certain element, right? Will have a certain clause in, in this case. So we have the bot hyphen trigger and two hyphens and then button. If I give this custom class to anything else, so for example, I will use this and I will delete the button and then basically uh, I can put in just a single text, right? Then let's say, try me. And if I give this exact same class towards this text, we should get the same exact effect. So let's go with saving this page and then refreshing on the front end. So let's close this down, refresh. And if I press this, I should get the exact same pop-up model. And as you can see, the pop-up model arrives just as when pressing a button. So as long as you give the element the proper class, you will be able to basically pop up the chat conversation from any kind of element inside of your website. The next example that I want to show you is the full page. And basically this is straightforward. We just generate a script and this script we are just going to basically insert inside of an HTML element onto your web page. And then as you can see here, we have just a script and it will result in this overview. So we have a good focused and centralized place to send your subscribers to, to send your website visitors to, to become a subscriber inside of your chatbot. The last option that I want to show you, the last example is the floating model. Instead of having it on the bottom right corner where it normally resides, you can also bring it in line. So basically having a chat icon and the bubble itself anywhere on the page that you like to. So the way it looks like on the back end is 
that you can insert the script inside of your main page header, as you can see here, and then have the custom element, the, the div basically, anywhere on the page that you like to. So for example, I have it below this text. So if we take a look at the front end, it will look like this. So we have the widget element here. And if we press it, it will open up in the bottom right corner. When closing again, you will have it just displayed in a line. So if we want to change this outcome, we can also say if we want to have it to the right of the text, we can do so as well. So if we save this, we should now get this floating model in line on the right side of the text. So let's refresh the page and see if this works. And as you can see, because the container width is a little bit small, you will still see the floating model, but it will display a little bit smaller. If we want to adjust this, we can also adjust the width of the column where it's residing in, right? And then save it again and take another look. And then you will see it having a little bit more space and on the right of the text. You can also have it, of course, centralized between the two. So if you want to do that, then it's just a matter of having the alignment set up. So in this case, we would go with the vertical alignment. Press save, and then you will see and notice that it will be in the middle of this column. So if we take a look now, then you will see it being adjusted, just like that. So you can see that there are many ways of using the WebChat widget to your own preferences. You can generate as many scripts from that single WebChat widget as you like. Just copy the scripts onto your whitelisted domain and then you will be able to use it to your fullest potential and engage with any kind of visitor that visits any kind of your pages.